SWOT analysis. This is a business tool that's been used since the 80s, maybe even before that. But a SWOT analysis helps you determine your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats. And today, guys, we're introducing a tile for the key to success planning system. A tile, a sticker that you can use with any planning system. If you want to start using a SWOT analysis on your mobile tablets or computers, either in annotation apps or in OneNote, guys, you're going to want to pay attention to this video. I'm going to show you how to download it, install it, and how to utilize our SWOT analysis so you can make better informed decisions. And if you want to take it a step further, learn about our decision maker journal, which is something that's going to help you move forward with your big ideas and plans and help you navigate those the decisions. So stay with me as we learn about the SWOT analysis tile in the Key to Success Planner. So first and foremost, you've already made that purchase. You have the email in your inbox and it looks like this. You can see down here in this particular email, we have our products and we have our download links. We want to click on the SWOT analysis tile. And if we click on that, it's going to go ahead and it's going to download a zip file. Now it's important to know if you're using the tile with OneNote, you're going to want to do this from your computer and follow our installation instructions on how to import OneNote notebooks. If you're using this for a PDF annotation app, you can continue to do it on your iPad or mobile tablet. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to download that zip file. This is generally going to bring us into our files app. If you're not sure where your files app is, you can go ahead and search files on the iPad. There's similar apps that store all of your files and local downloads on your Samsung devices, Android devices. They all have a similar type of file system. If you go into like a folder called downloads, you're going to find that zip file. If we simply tap on that zip file, that is going to expand that zip file into a folder. We can open that folder and here we're going to find an additional zip file. This is for OneNote users, which if you're still watching this, go ahead, complete this on your computer and come back after you're done as we're going to show you how to make these tiles work in this video on OneNote as well. But here we have the ability to see PDF app images. And here you're gonna find a couple of things. You're gonna find individual images. One thing important to note, you might wanna go into here and choose the word kind. And this is gonna allow you to see what kind of file it is. And we have PNG files and PDF files. This is gonna be important when you're customizing this tile in your device. So let's go ahead, let's close this. Now you could open up your PDF annotation app. We have a shortcut here to access our planner, which if you want to learn how to create that, we have a video that shows you how to create shortcuts. And by tapping on that, it'll take us right to our planning system. Now I'm going to jump out here a little bit and I'm going to look at the beginning of my planner. And I want to put this actually right behind a note. So I'm going to come in here and I'm just going to put um, SWAT time. So say if we're going to be making a decision about a time, I would generally write the word SWAT and then write a, just an indexed item so I know what that particular SWOT analysis is about. So if I go ahead and go into reading mode and then click on the hyperlink to 16, this would be a note page that I could use then to take notes about this particular SWOT analysis. Now I'm gonna go ahead and click on the tool here to bring up all my thumbnails. You can see right here that this page that we're on is now highlighted. We can go ahead and click here and choose the word add page after and then choose the import. And we're gonna go back to this tile section and we're gonna to choose to have the PDF and we are gonna choose tile SWAT, the one that's about a half a megabyte and we're gonna go ahead and open that. What that's going to do is it's going to add this tile. Now you can see that there's some blank space here and that's going to allow us to personalize it. So what does it mean to personalize it? Well, we can go back into writing mode. We can go into pictures here and we could choose insert from and now we can insert from our folder and I want to insert goals. So I'm going to tap on goals and that is going to bring this tile here I can resize it a little bit. Ooh, I didn't want to do that. I can resize it a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and insert another one. So we'll go ahead and insert. This time I'm going to go from insert from, 
choose the location where the tile is, and I want to do key objectives. And I can go ahead and continue to add these tiles to this area. Well, maybe I don't want to utilize this tile. I want to utilize a different tile. So if you have our essentials pack, our note pack, or any of our journaling tiles, you can make this side of the page whatever you would like to do. And that's what's really neat about tiles is you can start to personalize these. You can even put a vision board or a sketch board in there to help you further brainstorm your ideas. Now what's so cool, if I go back into reading mode, I can go back a page, I can go back a page, click on my key, and now that SWAT is right there. If I simply tap on that, it'll take me to this page. I advance one forward, and now I can get to that page. So I am able to create an index and save my SWOT analysis in the folder. Now we're gonna jump into OneNote, show you how to do the same thing with importing, but then I'm gonna dive in and show you how to actually use this particular SWOT analysis tile. So we'll go ahead and close this, open up OneNote, and you're gonna see that we've imported the tile here. Now we have the ability to see all of our tiles here on this page, as well as we have our template, and then we even created a sample for you if you don't wanna go ahead and create your own. But if you wanna create your own, you can come in here and you could copy this page. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit copy. Copy that page right back in there. So I have a blank page now. I'm gonna go into the tile and I'm gonna select the tile, hit copy, go back into that template, tap on the screen and hit paste. And then I can come in and move this tile however I want. What's really important to know with OneNote is you do not want to scale these tiles. We've designed the tiles inside of OneNote so they work so that you can actually type in them and the lines will align up. So that's pretty exciting for OneNote users. With GoodNotes and PDF annotation users, you guys will have to customize the fonts a little bit and the containers so it aligns to the lines as well. But for OneNote users, all the work's done for you. So what can I do with these particular SWOT analysis forms? So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna show you that I created a whole section on SWATs. And I actually have a SWAT that I was actually looking at myself. In this whole SWAT, the idea was about closing a department in our organization, a messenger department, and what that would mean and what kind of impacts that would bring. So first thing you do with a SWOT analysis is have an assessment board. Use this board to decompress your thoughts, any of the, the nuggets of information that you have in your head just that are randomly coming at you, drop them in, this assessment board. And the idea here is to really kind of like decompress and clear your mind, get everything that's floating out there on paper so that you can actually start to think about it with a clear mental mind on how you might move forward. Then from there, we have this four quadrants and the four quadrants are so important. We have internal and external. We also have strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So essentially what we're doing is we're looking at the decision and saying, if we do this, what strengths does it present? What weaknesses does it have? And generally these are internal. So these are gonna be strengths and weaknesses inside the organization. Externally speaking, if we do this, what does it mean for opportunities? What could this do for us as an organization? Also at the same time, what threats could this impose on the organization? So we have a little cheater there. So under strengths, think about the advantages, the skills, the team, the experience, awareness, processes, that might bring strength to your organization. What are the weaknesses? Some of the disadvantages, what are the broken processes, again, skills, financials, any distractions that it might take. Externally, under opportunities, is there any growth opportunities, improvements? Will it open doors for you? Will it create partnerships? As threats, what risk or endangerment does it impose on the organization by making this decision? What might the competitors do? How might they be impacted or what might they do in their organization based on your decision? And what are some of the economic and political pressures that might come externally from this decision? From there, let's talk about the actual decision. Make a decision by utilizing the assessment board in those four quadrants. Make a decision that you're going to move ahead on. Explain what your role in that decision is and what are the possible outcomes and favorable outcomes that might come to the organization from this role. From here, determine some goals. You made this decision with some goals in mind, so let's make it a point to actually identify those goals. Understand what the accountable actions are, what actions are you gonna implement into the organization, into your own process to carry out this decision, and what is going to be the pattern process to guide you through that. 
What is the key objectives? What goals are you focused on? And how are you going to move forward? And then ultimately, what is the summary process? What is the next steps from this decision? Maybe there's another decision to be made. And that's where it's important to look at our decision journal. Our decision journal goes a leg further and talks about not only what impacts these decision makes, what's the current state, it talks about your goals, your measurables, it understands what different struggles you might have through this. It provides a place where you can go ahead and create a journal about your decision. What are the goals at a deeper level? What are some of the boulders or challenges that you're going to face? And what strengths do you have in your organization to help carry you through this journal? What are some of the adaptations that we're going to make along the way? If you learn anything about the Key to Success Planner, we're about making change and adaptations so we can continue to grow. And in the decision journal, we showcase that. And then the last thing that's really cool about the decision journal is actually the progress. What took place from that decision one week, one month, three months, even a year later? What adaptations did we make along the way to help further our decision and improve our processes? If you guys want to learn more about the decision journal, check the descriptions or tag the video here at the end and you can learn more about that. But as far as the SWOT analysis goes, if you guys are first diving into making different decisions based on your organizations, the SWOT analysis is a great way to help give clarity, explanation to the decision. If you're on a team or part of a board, or if you have to report to your own individual staff or your boss about why you made a decision, coming to them with the strengths, the weaknesses, the opportunities and threats that this decision presented is gonna make you look like a better leader and someone that's in charge to carry out the process. Guys, I'm Brandon Bonderfer creator and founder of the Key to Success Planner. If you learned just one thing from this video, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel as we talk about how to become more efficient in digital planning, what tech to use, and how you can move your vision to goals, to action steps into your daily plans so that you can reach the achievements that you have for yourself. If you wanna learn more about our system, check out the description. There's tons of cool resources available. And if you have any questions, hit the comments. Someone in our community be happy to answer. With that being said, I'm Brandon Bonerfer. Once again, happy to have you here and Lord willing, we'll see you in the next video.